What's up guys, in this video I want to show you an Etsy shop that's doing quite well selling print-on-demand posters. Then I want to show you how we can sell print-on-demand posters ourselves with awkward styles and I'm going to make it real easy for you to design really high quality posters that by the way can easily be customized and you know Etsy customers will pay extra for customization so I'm just throwing that out there as an idea but I want to show you that this one specific poster, it caught my eye. I'm going to show you how many sales it's making per month and even give you, I'm trying to do everything for you here. I'm, I'm going to give you an idea for a potential source of some images that you can use in your posters that really resonate with, well, a specific, uh, a specific customer, right? You don't need your products to sell to everybody, right? They don't need to have mass appeal. Sometimes you just target very specific people. And I think this qualifies as just that. So let's get to it. So the shop I wanted to show you that inspired this video is Maps More Studio on Etsy. Uh, I found this, I think, while I was doing a, an Etsy video a while back, um, just kind of analyzing top shops. And when I came across this one, I bookmarked it because I really liked a few things about how they're doing uh, their posters. One is just how they design the posters. So check this out. Just that from a design perspective, I like that it, it appears that they've got like a templatized approach to designing these posters where they have kind of the title underneath, then maybe a subtitle, similar to how, I don't know, as a web developer and I'm laying out web pages, I like when things are simple and when I can kind of templatize a web page. So I, I thought that this is working really well. So from a design perspective, I think you guys maybe should just like bookmark this. I'm not saying to like steal their designs or anything. I'm just saying for inspiration, if you do want to go down uh, and list some print on demand posters, they don't just have to be a gigantic static image. You can also add text to them when it makes sense. The second thing I noticed is that they're selling a lot of like outer space inspired images and selling quite well. So when I run the Allura Chrome extension on this page, it's saying that this listing has done 321 sales. And while I can't get the view that I had before I hit record, because naturally it went away, uh, they were projecting that this was doing roughly about a sale a day. Okay, and one sale a day, you're not getting rich, but that is still pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't complain about one sale a day. You can see here too that it's in about 20 carts. Okay, so 20 people have this added to their carts right now. Not bad, you know what I mean? These are the types of winners that if we can stack them in our Etsy shop, we can make quite a bit of money. Now, you may be thinking, do we have the rights to sell things like pictures from the James Webb telescope that NASA owns? This is where I hate being a talking head on YouTube because I love a nice, easy binary answer. <laughs> But it's so rare that we get those, okay? Uh, I went to Google, our NASA photos, public domain. Then I came to the media usage guidelines. And of course, it doesn't give you a direct answer. Generally speaking, it says for the most part, they're not copyright protected. But then of course, it says for more information on using NASA content for commercial purposes, go to the advertising guidelines and the merchandise guidelines. So I start going through all of these pages. Trust me, I did a lot of reading before I hit record. I actually reached out to the guy listed as their contact and I called the phone number that they've got for questions about merchandising. I haven't heard back from anybody. <laughs> so I wish I had better answers, but from what I can ascertain, having read this, all right? And I even went to this other website that is on the nasa.gov website, even though it looks like it was made 25 years ago, <laughs> all right? Um, and I mean, let me just read this to you in summary. I know this is probably a boring part of the video, but I'll, I'll try to go fast. I would like to use some imagery from Earth and space. What are NASA's rules for using this imagery? All of the imagery on this site is public domain. Of course, here's the asterisk. There are, however, a few restrictions you should be aware of. Again, general guidelines. You click that, goes to another page. I read through all of these guidelines. I can link to them for you if you would like me to in the description. But basically having read them, it seems like they're a little bit iffy about you using the logo. Like basically if you're not using the NASA logo and you're not using any NASA astronauts and you're not using any pictures of current NASA employees, from what I ascertained, you should be okay. Of course, this is where I'm going to get lit up in the comments if I'm wrong at all, but hopefully I'm not because I swear I read all of it. All right. And I, like I said, I reached out to the phone number and I emailed some guy who's, he was, okay, this guy, Bert Ulrich. All right. Haven't heard back yet though. I don't know if I will. So I wanted to mention that this could potentially be a nice little avenue for selling print-on-demand posters. And if you needed other ideas too for posters, Kittle, of course, has a bunch of awesome templates, like seriously awesome. And the nice thing about these Kittle templates is that they are super easy to customize. So I will link to everything in the description, but this brings me to the next point. You can jump on over to Awkward Styles, all right? 
and they have a bunch of really cool ways of selling wall art. I actually did a um, sample order of a metal print, all right? And uh, I don't know how many people are offering metal poster, or I don't know, are they called, if it's metal, I don't know if we can call it a poster, but like metal wall art, that's something that I think they do really well. You can see here in my sample order that they did a great job. Now, you can go to Awkward Styles. Of course, I'll link to them in the description. Click product catalog. And then on the left-hand side here, click wall art. And you'll notice they actually have a bunch of different wall arts to choose from. Uh, we can actually just click the heading there and see all of them. So they've got canvases, posters, framed posters, hanging poster and canvas prints, wood photo stands, metal prints, and tapestries. Okay, they've got quite a few options and we can do a lot with it. Now, if we go back to the Etsy listing, you'll notice that they offer uh, various styles. They have a black framed poster, a white frame poster, and an unframed poster, which is gonna probably save you the most money. It looks like you can also choose a size, all right? And this is similar to what you'll find if you're in Awkward Styles and you go to like what's probably their most popular option, uh, the canvas options. They start at $10.50 with the pro plan. Uh, by the way, speaking of Awkward Styles Pro, if you want two months free, I'll put my code in the description. It's code Ryan Hogue, all right? And you can use that after you sign up to get the two months. Um, they also, of course, have posters and a category that's separate for framed posters. So again, and when you frame the poster, guys, that, that's going to make the shipping uh, more expensive. So that's going to come with the territory. Hopefully your customers expect that. Um, again, and I'm not telling this that we have to copy these listings that we see here, but I, again, I drew inspiration when I saw... Um, I just liked, I liked how this poster looks, but again, I think it looks better with the frame uh, and that really adds to that primary thumbnail, which is the first thing people see in search results, which is how we get people to click. And that's probably going to be one of your best sellers because Hey, I mean, they cared enough to click it in search to get them to the listing where they can purchase it. Right? So if we have a black framed poster here, um, we can go to the size, uh, probably like the biggest one's going to be popular 24 by 36 inches, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Um, this is going to run you $128. Okay, uh, so let's go check on Awkward Styles, how much money we can make from this. We're going to click uh, Framed Poster, and then we are going to go uh, with the first option here. They do offer the 18 by 24. Uh, this is 24 by 36. All right, so 18 by 24, they're charging $85.63. And the first thing I wanted to show you is that you can always click in the top right, Variance and Shipping, and go straight to being able to view the costs. Now, it may be hard to see. I'll duck out of the way. But... The 18 by 24 inch framed poster is going to run you $35.90 without Pro and with Awkward Styles Pro, only $32.90. So check this out just as a refresher here. $85 is what they are charging and you can bet they're selling quite a few. All right. They have 20 currently in their carts with Awkward Styles. You can get this price down to $32.90 and then add shipping. I do believe they offer free shipping. So let's tack on uh, $30 in shipping. All right, now that may seem steep, but keep in mind, guys, this is quite big, all right? Like this, is, this isn't just Awkward Styles trying to nickel and dime you on shipping. This is the shipping carrier saying, hey, this is a big product that's gonna be in our truck. We need to make room for it, so it's gonna cost you, all right? Obviously, the bigger the frame poster, the more it's gonna, more expensive it's gonna be, all right? That's gonna cost $29.99. Add that to $32.90, and we're still looking at 20 something dollars of profit of course etsy's going to take their fees but this is a very healthy profit margin anytime i'm making more than ten dollars profit i get excited right and the bigger the poster probably the more cushiony that profit margin is going to be so um i'm loving that and now all of a sudden the uh the the maximum size here uh, that comes to 128 dollars starts making more sense that definitely ha probably has more to do with shipping than anything else um but anyways also guys here on awkward styles just to show you uh, I went back to Kittle, I exported a poster design, and I just wanted to show you that um, you can, you know, and by the way, it keeps you, it keeps a little library of your previously uploaded designs, so in Kittle, I didn't actually uh, optimize this to match the dimensions of the poster, I just wanted to give you a quick example of how we can make these posters in awkward styles, again, you can offer customization in Etsy, you really just need to check the little box for personalization, and then type a little description to your customers, telling them what they need to provide so that you can come on over and personalize the designs. Of course, there's a preview button in the top right corner as well, so you can generate your mock-ups, and the mock-ups will be generated for you as well if, if and when you um, push these to your Etsy shop. 
Uh, so guys, check out Awkward Styles. They do make it really easy to, to uh, sell wall art. Here we're just looking at the frame posters, but don't forget, um, in addition to that, they've got the metal prints. You saw my review of that. Here's what the photo stands look like. They have these big tapestries, all right? And if you've got a best-selling design, if it's you know another James Webb photo, whatever it ends up being, that becomes one of your best sellers. And again, the best indicator of customer interest and potential to become a bestseller is those first initial sales. And if you're lucky enough to get customer reviews, don't forget, um, you can also spy on your other customer reviews if they're selling similar products too. You can get feedback on what they like, what they don't like, all those things, um, similar to how you would do if you're selling like Amazon FBA, right? That's the first exposure I got. Um, by the way, it looks like they credit the um, they credit NASA for the photo right over here in the description. Okay, in case that's something that you uh, want to note down in case you do go down this avenue. Uh, but again, canvases, they've got the um, tapestries. The tapestries start at $14.95. Uh, frame posters, they've got the metal prints, which are something that you should explore. I would be offering all of these different types of wall art if I have a best-selling, I don't know what to call it, like design, niche, style, photo, etc. If I have something that's working, you guys know I love to double down on it, triple down on it, basically occupy more online real estate, occupy more of search results with my listings and not my competitor listings. A great way to do that is to create another listing uh, for a metal art print, create another listing for a tapestry. You guys get where I'm going with this, right? So check out Awkward Styles, guys. I'll put a link to them. I'll put a link to Kittle too in case you want to check out more of these um, poster templates, which you can do quite a bit with. This is just a straight up like template. I didn't even customize this one. Um, but they're real easy to offer personalization. So those can work really well in conjunction with each other. You literally just click use template, enter in the custom piece, download the, the design, upload it to Awkward Styles, and then hit create order and put in your customer's information. It's that simple, guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments uh, section. Please hit that like button on your way out and subscribe if you're not already. About half you guys aren't. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.